We're going to do two different things in this video. The first is that we're going to be able to find intercepts of graphs. We're going to solve for the x-intercept and we're also going to solve for the y-intercept and we're going to be able to do it algebraically. Once we have those values, we're actually going to be able to sketch the line on our graph just using those intercept values. So, let's start with an equation that we don't necessarily know what it looks like right off the bat. So if I have an equation that looks like this. Right now it's not in slope intercept form or point slope form. I don't necessarily know what the slope is right off the bat. And I also don't necessarily know what the y-intercept is right off the bat. So let's figure out how to solve for the y-intercept algebraically without having to reorder or move anything around in this equation. Anytime you want to find the y-intercept algebraically, you're going to set x value equal to 0. So I'm going to plug 0 or substitute 0 in for x, and then I'm going to solve for y, and that y value is going to be uh, the y value of my y-intercept. So let's see what happens. Plug 0 in. By plugging 0 in, that cancels this whole term. This goes away. Now I'm left with this equation, 4y equals 8. To solve for y, we would divide by 4. Cancels it here. So y equals 8 divided by 4, or in other words, y equals 2. If I want to think about that as a coordinate pair. I know that my x value was 0, and now my y value is 2. So I can actually plot that on my graph here. 0, 2, that's going to be my first point. There's our y-intercept. Let's see if we can solve for the x-intercept. i rewrite my equation. And we'll start over again. This time solving for the x-intercept. x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And wherever that happens on my y value, I know, is going to be 0. So you always think, I'm going to plug 0 in for the opposite of what I'm looking for. If I want to find the y-intercept, I'm going to plug 0 in for x. If I want to find the x-intercept, I'm going to plug 0 in for y. So let's see what happens when we do that. So by plugging in 0, that cancels this whole term. It goes away. We're now left with this equation. And to solve for x, we would divide by negative 2. That goes away there. We're left with, sorry, divide by negative 2. x is whatever 8 divided by negative 2 is. So x is negative 4. So now I have my coordinate. I know that my y value was 0. And now I know my x value is negative 4. So there is my x-intercept. Let's plot that on the graph. Negative 4, 0. There's our x-intercept. If we connect those two points, we should have a good idea of what our line is going to look like. We could extend it in both directions. So you can actually graph by just using the intercepts. It's another way to graph lines. Now let's double check our work just to make sure we did it right. I'm going to rewrite our equation, and we're going to organize it in slope-intercept form just to check our work. So if I want to solve for y to get it in a slope-intercept form, that means I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So it leaves me with 4y equals, I'm going to write the 2x first, and the positive 8 second. To get y by itself, I'm going to divide each term by 4. And that leaves me with y equals 2 fourths, which reduces to 1 half x, plus 8 fourths, which reduces to 2. Let's check that on our graph and see what happened. So this says that my y-intercept is going to be a 2. Well, we got that. It says that I'm going to have a positive slope. I'm going to go up 1 over 2. So if I go up 1 over 2, that works. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. So you could do that all day long if you wanted. 
but essentially there's our line that we got just by plotting the intercepts. So another way that you can graph lines is just find the intercepts and connect the lines between them. All right, next thing we're going to do is talk about something a little bit different here. So let me get all that ready to go. All right, the second thing we're going to discuss is how parallel line slopes have a unique relationship and also how perpendicular line slopes have a unique relationship. Let's figure out what the relationship is. I'm going to plot a few points here. I'm going to put A at 2, 5. I'm going to put B at negative 3, 2. That's going to be one line. That's going to be line AB, so let's plot that. It's 2, 5, negative 3, 2. A and B. get another line going. I'm going to call this line CD. I'm going to plot C at negative 2, negative 4. And D I'm going to plot at 8, 2. So negative 2, negative 4. There's C. And 8, 2. There's D. Connect our two lines. So visually we can hopefully see that we have two parallel lines here. Let's figure out what the relationship of their slopes is. I'm going to rewrite my points. And we're going to use our slope formula to find the slope. This is the slope of line AB. y2 minus y1, where x2 minus x1. Hopefully you have the formula memorized by now. So my y2 is going to be my second points right here y values 2. First points are a, so my y1 is 5. x2 is negative 3. x1 is 2. So when we subtract the top, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Bottom, we get negative 3 minus 2. That's negative 5. Simplify, we got a negative divided by a negative. That's a positive. So there's the slope of line AB right there. Let's figure out the slope of CD. C was negative 2, negative 4. D was 8, 2. So using my slope formula, y2 is going to be 2 minus y1. That's 2 minus negative 4. x2 is 8. Uh, x1 is negative 2, so minus negative 2. Double negatives, that's going to be positives. So we're doing addition. 2 plus 4 is 6. Another double negatives. Turn them into positives. 8 plus 2 is 10. Reduce this slope. Divide top and bottom by 2. You get 3 over 5. So there's the slope of line CD. So what can we tell about the relationship of parallel lines? They have equal slopes. So whenever you have to find the slope of two different lines, compare their slopes. If they're equal, after you reduce and simplify, then they are in fact parallel lines, so equal slopes. Those are parallel lines. Okay, know that relationship. Let's figure out the relationship of perpendicular lines. It's not going to be the same. Let me get that all set up. All right, let's plot the following points here. This time, A is going to be at 3, 2. And B is going to be at negative 2, negative 5. So if I plot those points, here's A, here's B. So we're looking at something like this. Compare it with a new line, call it line CD. C will be at negative 4, 7, and D will be at 10, negative 3. Let's plot those negative 4, 7, 10, negative 3. This is D, this is C. 
So visually, hopefully, you can recognize that they're perpendicular lines. This would actually be a 90 degree angle right here. So let's see what the slopes of these two lines look like. Let's do the math. So finding the slope of line AB, y2 minus y1 is going to be negative 5 minus 2. x2 minus x1 is going to be negative 2 minus 3. Simplify, we got a negative minus a number that's going to give us more negative, negative 7. Similarly down here, negative 2 minus 3 is going to give us negative 5. Simplify that negative divided by negative and we get a positive slope, 7 fifths or 7 over 5. Let's find the slope of line CD. Y2 minus Y1 is going to be negative 3 minus 7. X2 minus X1 is going to be 10 minus negative 4. Simplify, negative 3 minus 7, that's negative 10. We got a double negative, so let's just change it to positives and add. 10 plus 4 is 14. Let's reduce. We're going to divide top and bottom by 2. We should get negative 5 over 7. There's the slope of line CD. So let's compare these two values here. Hopefully you see that they are opposites of each other. One is positive and one is negative. So perpendicular line slopes have slopes that are always going to be opposite. That means one is going to be positive, one is going to be negative. And the other relationship is that they are what are called reciprocals or fractions that are flipped from each other. So they're both opposite and reciprocals. Always both, never just one or the other. Okay? If you see or compare two slopes and they're opposites and reciprocals, you know that those two lines are perpendicular lines. So your job today is find the intercepts algebraically, x and y intercepts. And then you're also going to be comparing slopes of two lines. And when you compare them, if they're equal, you're going to say they're parallel lines. If they are opposite reciprocals, you're going to say they're perpendicular lines. If you find that they are neither of those two relationships, you're going to state that they are neither parallel nor perpendicular. So good luck.